Okay, we're off to the moon. To crash a wedding. Okay, well. Oh yeah, right, we're all dressed up. I can't remember if you can do all of the moon, or you have to split it up, but... Yeah, welcome if you're watching us later on YouTube as well. I mean, you know, they say the Switch is not a very powerful console, but I mean, it can make ni really nice looking games. And I see stuff like this, and look, I love Pokemon, I really do, I like the series, but let's be real. <laughs> Out of all the series Nintendo currently does, they don't make the most graphically... Oh, what's the word, like... I've had a long week, so my vocabulary is probably taking a nosedive, but like... They're not showing the graphical prowess of the console, let's put it that way. I, I think just long jump. Yeah, there we go. Keep going. Oh yeah, here are the mysterious moon, moon cubes. I forgot that I still am playing through Nier Automata. <laughs> I've neglected it the past couple of days again. But I need to get back to it. And go through the second story. I'll make more time for it tomorrow. I think now that Animal Crossing's kind of reached a point where it's... It's approaching that point where I can't really do too much without it becoming a thing where I'm just checking for my flowers and that's it. So maybe I might alternate it like every second day. I've done a lot. Yeah, I've been playing the game since... October? No, maybe earlier. I think late September, probably. It's alright. Every now and then I'll play a game where I'm like playing it for a few months and then it'll come to an end. to counterbalance all the chill stuff I've got difficult games ahead I think it's creepy <laughs> Oh, 
Well, it's okay. Like, as far as chill games go, Stardew Valley should have an update in the next couple of months, so it won't be too long before I play something else. Or I go over the top with whatever I do. I mean, it'd be pretty appropriate, actually, because <laughs> that year where I had non-existent internet for three months and then just bad internet after that, the games that got me through that time period was this and Stardew Valley, like, yeah, this game came out when I lost the internet connection for three months, so I was playing this and Stardew. I can't believe that was seven years ago, jeez. Whoa, camera. I, I know you want to show off planet Earth. What's this say? Oh, yeah. You mean that thing? The thing I've been doing that gets me killed, like, Three out of five times, that. Oh, mistakes were made almost. Gravity! Oh! Oh, that was a salvage. And yet I did it again! <laughs> Didn't learn my lesson. Whoops. Sorry. That would have been impressive if I didn't just mess it up on the way back. I would love to see a Mario done with the graphics of the original game, but then have modern stuff like this, like low gravity, and I think it'd be neat. I mean, Mario Maker kind of does that, but not really. Oh, damn, I thought for sure there'd be a secret there. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, Star, did you watch the uh, Gordon Ramsay thing? The grilled cheese. It's funny because I learned about that video because he made it whilst he was in Australia. And every American that I've like made aware of the existence of that, oh my god. The comments is funny. It's just... The guy quite clearly messes it up. It's just one of those times where even one of the greatest chefs in the world can screw up. going to in a bit. Alright, no worries. You'll watch it while eating some ice cream. Oh, well, you'll be thoroughly entertained. Especially if you have grilled cheese pretty often, like it's a staple. I don't have it that much, and even I could see that he, he messed it up. <laughs> it's just... Oh, man. Ugh. 
That's not, but you do like grilled cheese. Actually, now that you think about it, you haven't had it in over five years. That's more than me. But if you had a British man try to educate you on, like, the arts of making the perfect grilled cheese, and you quite clearly <laughs> saw that he was wrong. Oh, man. Anyway. You'll see. Am I lost? Hang on, which way? I'm heading towards the church bells, but I think... I was expecting more behind here. Alright, let's just go. There's a treasure chest over there, but I'm not sure I can get it. Oh, I can. It's this. I have a whole book that's dedicated to fancy grilled cheese. Some of them, I don't know. I, I don't think they're grilled cheese. They're like a fancy sandwich, but still. Oh, what have I done? No, it's fine. Hang on, don't do that. Oh wait, just do that. Do that, do that. Come here. Oh, it's the Sphinx. Greetings, Traveler, and to your hat, can you answer my riddle? Should you really be answering questions right now? Well... Hmm... No... <laughs> oh! Bearer of correct answers. There are so many other things you could be doing with your time. Do what you must. I am done. <laughs> Okay, that was, that was amusing. Didn't even give me a moon. Answering questions to a gigantic statue of a cat is not a life goal, okay? Oh, damn. The soundtrack just got pretty good. Wait, what's this bow? Hey! Hold on. What is this bow? Oh. It's just a decoration. It's nothing. Right, because he's having a wedding. That's why there's a bow. The original Legend of Zelda has ruined me. Trying to spot out secrets where there are none. I am not shaking the controller. <laughs> Apparently plugged in. I mean, sometimes it's a secret.
guess I may as well. Ah, oh, I see it. Under the bridge. Under the bridge. Oh, hey. Uh oh. I need the power of the tank. Thank you. There is a stuff up there. Hang on, how do I get up there? It's up too high. There's gotta be a way up there. Uh, hold on. I got it. No? Thought for sure that'd be it. Maybe I can just... Oh, okay. There we go. Saying that's been ruined for me is just where there's a will, there's a way. I just refuse to allow that to become a, a thing for me. Just skull ruined it. There's a key somewhere. What is this? Ah. Is this a bad idea? I guess I'll find out. on the fly. Destroy everything here to get all the coins. Uh, is this going to be a transfer in midair? Hope not. It's 
that's fine. I just, <laughs> just, just barely made that. Okay. Charging Charles. Almost did the wrong thing. you again. <laughs> hmm, do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. In fact, you're quite rude to all my darling brutals, which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up chain, Trumpikins. <laughs> Oops. Like that would that would hurt. <laughs> the sheer force of that. That would break a nose. Damn it. manage yeah I'm fine Something on top of the cars, uh, castle cathedral. If I'm not mistaken. Hello. 
on what was that thought I'd I can definitely feel the controller vibrating. I'm not imagining it. Oh. <laughs> wasn't worth the time but I wasn't going crazy This money is going to disappear anyway. Oh, over there. I see it. I'm still going to climb. Climb. Higher. I don't know if I can go any higher. This might be as high as I can go. I might be confusing this as like Breath of the Wild, we can get to the top of Hyrule Castle. Uh, but this is definitely a thing. It's been almost seven years, I, I don't remember. I think if you could get to the very top, it'd probably be easier. Like, you'd be able to get your footing here. Maybe, 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 maybe. No, maybe I can do this. <laughs> Hold on. Gravity, please. Nah, this is invisible. Okay. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sushi. Okay. Do they have like a... This makes no sense. There should still be gravity in here. Bowser has technology to regulate gravity inside this cathedral. It still says it's on Animal Crossing. <laughs> Does it? Try refreshing. Because my one says it's on Odyssey. Let me check mobile. Sometimes it does this. Like on my end it'll say it's updated, but then it hasn't. No, yeah, my one says Odyssey, so I don't know. Probably just needs a refresh. You don't get how that video got published regarding the grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> just strange. I mean, just multiple things about it were just wrong, but just the end result and just him making it sound like it was the best grilled cheese ever. 
the cheese was not melted. You could see it. Kimchi. He was trying to be fancy. The cheeses he picked were fancy cheeses, but cheeses that don't have a good melting point. Like stuff that just takes a while to melt. And then he decided to cook it on a skillet over an open flame instead of something else, like a stove, so then he could regulate the temperature properly. And it was very thick as well, just... So many things were wrong. But the entire time he was like, oh my god, look at this... Look at this sandwich, look at how delicious it is, beautiful. Oh my god, the cheese is absolutely perfect in the kimchi. Fragrance, aromatic. <laughs> Alright. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. Now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. I just love how absurd it is. Is this Gordon's grilled cheese thing? Yes. The star had not seen it. So I was like, you have to watch this. <laughs> I got hit in the face. Well, he actually admitted that it wasn't good. Oh, hang on. I need to get out of... I'm charging my controller. I need to get it out if I'm going to be... doing this properly. Damn it. <laughs> Too early. I mean, the thing is, as bad as it was, it was an effective piece of marketing. <laughs> so... As bad as the sandwich was... It did its job. Alright, anyway. Imagine making grilled cheese from cheeses that don't melt. I think he was just trying to be fancy, like, just think of the most bougie cheeses, cheeses they were, and they just weren't made for melting. And then, just like, oh, how can I make it fancier? Kimchi. Wait, what? Okay, that's still worked. Good. Oh, this has been seven years. I don't remember this fight. I need to punch some meteors to get health. Not that, not that, not that. Ah, oh, double! Damn it. Anyway, sorry, I'm not gonna look at chat for a minute. Especially not when looking away for more than a couple of seconds means death. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Damn it! <laughs> Too early. Yeah. 
So we were talking about grilled cheese earlier, and... I was like, well, as long as you don't mess it up like Gordon messed up his grilled cheese. Okay, third time's the charm. That almost didn't work. What I tell ya? <laughs> Alright, it's not over yet, but still. How many of those have you got? <laughs> there we go. See, I went from like struggling to doing it without taking damage. Just three times. I don't even remember remember what cheeses he used. I, I watched that video like years ago. Yes. Cheese like Pecorino Romano doesn't melt in slices with bougie gentrified bimbo make him use those cheese slices. You have Jamie Oliver's grilled cheese recipe and it's a religious experience. So he admitted that his grilled cheese was a screw up recently. And I guess, I wouldn't say an excuse, he said that, yeah, it was obviously bad, but the reason the video got released was they had a social media manager at the time, and the, the manager was like, yeah, do it, release the video. Like, alright. <laughs> Which, you know what, it makes sense, because it's, you know, any publicity is good publicity. I don't think he blamed it necessarily. He like took the advice of a social media person. Like he wasn't, he was saying that, okay. He wasn't blaming that the sandwich came out bad on the social media manager or wasn't saying that it was a bad decision to release the video, right? Never said that, just that ultimately it was like, oh, is this video good? And they were like, yeah, release the video. Because the, qu the question was around, well, why'd you even release the video if you knew it was bad? And he's like, well, because it was good marketing. I'm kind of paraphrasing it, but the, you can find when he talks about it. And then, I guess, interpret his intent from that.
him orgasming over the block of melted cheese is not the social media dude's fault. He never said it was, I guess. It was more around the choice of releasing the video despite the sandwich not coming out bad. I mean, coming out bad, right? But I think you're right, Star, is like... At the end of the day, like, it's not one person deciding that. It's like a committee. I think J Gordon genuinely thought it was good. Which, my, the, like, here's the thing. Him thinking it's good is truthful, right? Like, maybe he did think it was good. Like, someone can think a hot dog that just has salt on it is, like, the most amazing thing and no condiments, right? But the perception of the general public is a different thing. So he may have genuinely thought it was good, and then when the reactions came in, it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think he was being disingenuous when he was saying how good it is. I just think his tastes are very different. I forgot that this had, like, anime kind of music at the end here. I mean, when he went on Hot Ones, I saw when he went on Hot Ones, like, he really criticized the hell out of the wings that they served him on Hot Ones, and I was like, dude, I'd eat those wings. Come on, they're not that bad. So, I would imagine that just a standard grilled cheese, he'd probably just do the same thing as he did to those chicken wings, just kind of look at it and go, ugh. Alright, break through the pain. <laughs> this is great. So that's an odd choice for music? I don't know, I'm into it. It's not something I would expect from Mario. If this played in a Wario game, it would 100% fit in, because Wario games have had, like, this kind of music randomly spread out throughout the soundtracks of the games he's been in. But Mario has been pretty traditional in its sense of, like, how it does music. That's how Mario creates the next supervillain. Again, Bowser could have had like a a change of heart and was like, man, maybe I'm in the wrong here. But just that kick to the face, nope, he hasn't learned his lesson. He'll be back. <laughs> Getting revenge for that kick to the face. All right, but we're not done with this yet. I got other things to do. There's post-game stuff, so don't worry. I can skip it. I mean, let's just talk about this game for a little bit, I guess. 
So, I couldn't play this on stream when it first came out just because I didn't have the internet at the point in time when this came out. I moved to, to the city to a house that was supposed to have an internet connection that was going to be as good as the one I have now. And that just never happened. And worse yet, when we got there, um, it became apparent very quickly that the house was not capable of getting an internet connection, and it just sucked. It was three months of just... I was using my cell phone to access things, and... Well, if you don't know anything about Australia, um, data caps, data download limits, whatever you want to call them, they are horrible here. They are just horrible here. So, yeah, that was my life for three months, and this game came out, got me through that time period, but I didn't get to stream it, so... I figured enough time passed to, uh, play it again, and I, ha I don't remember a lot of it, so it's good. But, I like the game overall. Um, just I think when it comes to the experience as a whole, I feel like, for me, Galaxy and, um, and Mario 64 are just like a little bit higher in terms of how much I enjoy them. This is an excellent game, but there are a couple of things about it where I was like, hmm, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I think the gameplay mechanics and the loop is great being able to just take control of things. It's awesome. It's more like, I guess, the worlds and the moons. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. It's just a personal preference, probably, but... Just... Galaxy is just slightly higher for me. But, uh, you know... It's a cool game. I'm looking forward to see what they do next, whether it's a sequel to this, or if they try something completely new. Which, who knows. It's been seven years, so, you know, whatever the next console is, who, who knows, they might do the follow-up to this as a launch title. Anyway, what's my quick thoughts on it? Remember when the internet would cut out? Oh, boy. Thank yeah. you so much for playing my game. Oh, Charles, I miss you already. Not that the new guy isn't doing a good job, it's just... His voice has been part of, like, my life for the longest amount of time, and it's just strange that... not to hear it in a Nintendo game, you know? Anyway. Mr. Sam, have you heard that 90s song? Who's it by? Uh, I played it like yesterday. Hang on. It's Sammy J's nostalgic 90s song. Okay, I've liked our travel so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do, so many hats to me. I bet if you collect even more power moons, we'd be able to travel somewhere new. So far, so our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. For starters, let's head up to Peach's castle. Yeah, they're talking about the dark side of the moon. It was a song from the comedy festival last year. It's Ouija. <laughs> this is where all my mo oh wait, hang on. This is where all my money is gonna vanish. This is what I've been saving my money for. Uh, 
I have loads of money. I'm gonna need it. Look at look at all this. Oh my god, some of these outfits are insane. I just I don't think I'm gonna hundred percent this. I kind of want the 8-bit Mario cap. But to begin with, we're doing this. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Can't wait to put on the warrior suit, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll be back there later. Hey, come back. Come back. You would not pay 500 for the Santa hat. I'm gonna save up for the 8-bit hat. Yeah, if you want, like, hang on. Something to hit you with the 90s, like, what you had to live through. Or at least early, it still covers early 2000 as well. It's like this. Uh-oh. Almost went off the edge. What is it? It's a song about the 90s. Or the, the dark times. I find it era that the music stops playing. Go out, go out, go out, quickly. I get why they're power stars, but it, it does feel out of place. Because it says you got a moon. <laughs> it's like, no, we didn't. Lies. Come here. I love the Goomba Tower. Alright, where is Goombarella, or whatever her name is? Oh, hold on. May as well get that to heal. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Otherwise, what, what else would you use this for?
I'll keep looking. Don't give up. What? I must have missed the obvious. There's no way I haven't seen this. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh well. a trip down memory lane. <laughs> yeah. There were a couple parts of that song that got me. I was like, oh man. <laughs> Forgot what we had to do. Joshi! See, this is how Yoshi sounds like to me. That's a better sound than... <laughs> Just, I hated that sound so much. Stop. Wow. Wait, that's it? Doesn't have anything? Never got up to change the channel on the TV. Okay. You must have had a fancy TV. <laughs> you weren't born in the 60s. You don't have to be born in the 60s to change the channel on the TV. Just cheaper TVs. You had buttons. They didn't they didn't all have remotes. The first TV me and my brother had, it was a set of buttons down the side. There was no remote. Living all fancy with your remote control. Didn't we have a lounge room TV that didn't have a remote control? The VCR did. You had 50 centimeters. Okay, yep. Yeah, we did not have that.
Nom 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 nom. I'm surprised the one that he didn't bring up was like having to change the channel to play video games, like set your channel to play games. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Yoshi can do that? I don't remember that. AV1 channels the PlayStation. Oh, I'm like talking about a specific TV channel that like all the consoles tuned into. I think the Super Nintendo and the Genesis slash Mega Drive are like the last ones to do that. I know, there's a simpler solution to this. Just doesn't involve Yoshi. I'm going to consume all the apples. I was worried that Yoshi might melt in the water, I don't know why. Remember this game being as quiet as what it is. Quickly. Get the Joshi. There we go. <laughs> this level was quiet. Yeah, I guess I just don't remember the game being this quiet. It happens quite a bit throughout the game, it's just this sections where the soundtrack just doesn't play. Oops. Gotta be one more. Oh, two more over there. Come here. Where are the last two? There has to be two more. Oops. Just so sleepy. It's only 10 p.m. Okay. Where are these last apples? Did I get the ones outside the castle? I may not have. Ah. Oh, and there's Goombarilla. Okay. But wait, there's still more to do? I guess so. 
I don't remember her name. Is it Goombarella? Or am I thinking of something else here? There might be like a Paper Mario. Hey, Lola, what's up, man? Oh, Mr. Sam, did you ever have teachers that... When they would say a student was being nosy, they'd call them a sticky beak? It was like a, that was a core memory that just got like unearthed. I completely forgot about being called sticky beaks. Just got done trying Power World. I've heard that's released now. How is it? Like Pokemon, but with guns, right? And multiplayer crafting. Well, I messed that up. I'm gonna check that out today, it seems interesting. Yeah. I'm morbidly curious about it. You're going to poop sock it tomorrow? Poop sock? <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever heard you say that expression before. Oh, Yoshi drowned. Crap. Well, not drowned, evaporated. That's what I was afraid of. It's surprisingly good. That's what I've heard from two people now. That it's surprisingly good. I think it'd be good in a multiplayer sense, by the sounds of it. Oh, it's just for convenience. It's a term coined in WoW. Okay, that's why I haven't heard of it. Where people are so addicted to MMOs that they never leave their computer, they've got to poop in a sock. Alright, I gotcha. Can't say a game has ever done that to me. <laughs> I've definitely played games. Like, a lot of time, but if I need to go to the bathroom, I'll go to the bathroom. I'll take a break for food, I will. Doggo. You should call your character Poop Sock. Sorry, doggo. They usually find the moon, so I'm gonna just take a stroll. I remember seeing the trailer to Pal World and it just looks so absurd because parts of it were just. So, obviously, blatantly Pokemon, and then other parts was just, oh, this looks like Breath of the Wild, and then suddenly guns. <laughs> I 
suppose I should bring this. This is for the garden. Oh, got something. No? There we go. Alright, I need to go drop this off. It's self-aware of how much of a meme it is, which plays in his favor, but who knows, he played for less than an hour. Okay. The other person I know that played it, played it for like three to four hours and yeah, had fun with it. But granted, they were playing in a group. I don't know how the single player experience would be. Okay, how do I get this without... Let me go drop this off before I do something catastrophic. I am so lost. <laughs> Where is this maze? I know where the guy. Oh, there it is over there. Oh, and there's one there conveniently as well. That frame feels wrong beating the shit out of pals with weapons. You can beat them up? <laughs> oh no. When you say weapons, like, can you damage them with guns? You have to beat them to within an inch of their lives to capture them, just like Pokemon. Okay. This character's face had a good look because you're going to have to put it back together. Capture the facial features with your hat, rotate, and move and place them. Okay. Oh god. Ooh, yeah, I remember this. This is, this is going to be funny. Eyebrows. Okay, the mouth. Wait, they don't fade. They they seemingly die because you can eat their meat and stuff. <laughs> what? I did not know that. Okay, let's see what abomination I have made with this. Is the grand reveal. Hey! Hey, you know what? Why do you mean 58 points? That's not bad. Why is that only 58 points? No, it's. I thought that was good. I think I know what's happened. The eyes are upside down.
The eyes are upside down. The eyes are upside down, that's what it is. Yeah. No, wait, no, they're not. What? I thought I did pretty good. Okay. Okay. There. Okay, so the eyes. This is more correct now. Okay, so the eyes should be here. such a perfectionist. Okay, let's see it. That is... What do you mean that's 80 points? That is objectively worse than what I did before. How is that one 80 points? The eyes are like on the inside. Oh, I'm so upset at this. <laughs> this is worse. Basically Mario. I think if you come back to the second one. I, I, I can't believe that was acceptable. A little harder. That's the harder version. So this time it has to be what I what I got but Oh no. Oh, we're about to stray away from the light on this one. Okay. Um. Yeah. He wasn't kidding. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, just have to do my best not to hesitate. Uh. Just gonna show how well I can form a mental picture. Or how poorly I can form a mental picture. There. Alright, drum roll. Nope! 
Dude, come on, come on. That's not bad, given I couldn't see what I was doing. Somehow better? The eyebrows were just slightly off. And the mustache, but I'll take it. I don't get the this, this scoring system. It makes no sense. Whatever, I'll take the moon, thank you. I think it's the eyes and the nose that judge the majority of the picture. As long as you get that right, it seems... I think my first one was my best one, yeah. Same. I think it's just because the eyes were technically upside down. That it, it was that bad. Oh, no more power moons? No thanks. Alright, well I did, I did a good job. We're out of here. Holy crap, that is not much time. Can I cheese this? Oh good, good job. Drive it into the lake within three seconds of getting it. I just want to see, like, can I, can I do this? You can, haha. -ha. Oh, there's no way you could do that without it. I mean, you probably can, but that's easier. Work smarter, not harder. jump on that yet. Oh, wait, no. It should be this way. There we go. Hey! Is that all of them? No, there's one more over there. At least I know... <laughs> At least I know where she is. Okay, she's over there. What do you think more is more painful? Sending your spirit into the body of a creature, or like transforming into an elephant. I think I need to drain the moat, actually. They're gonna vanish. Neither sound fun. Well, Mario does both. The wowie zowie. Oh, the Goomba Tower's still there. Cool. <laughs> Convenience! Nice.
That worked out nicely. Another one. I just wish they'd play the the theme. Oh, but you know what? I, I guess that's why they're doing it, because outside of Peach's Castle in Mario 64, it was quiet. Still. Um, did... Yeah, Yoshi ate the fruit, so I can go in here now. I guess it makes sense. Speaking of Joshi... Oh, what have I done? Huh? Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> it wasn't death. How's that not death? Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it, I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, oh dear. That was dumb. I thought that I thought there was more. It looks like there's more. Like what is what is this? It looks like this guy's this. Hey hey hey! Careful. I'm good. I'm going the other way first. Just this whole thing where... The tongue pulls you upwards. I don't know what I can trust. This is cool. Like, yeah, she could be an, assa an assassin. Got some of the moveset required. Good. Good job. screwed. Have to sacrifice Yoshi. <laughs> Can I salvage this? Oh. It probably would have been easier to restart at this point. God! <laughs> Never mind. I thought I salvaged. All right, um, I'm going the other way now. Actually, there's still that single apple I missed. I still get weirded out by the story to Super Mario World. Just because it's not what it was. Or at least what I thought it was as a kid. The story that I remember it was that... Aside from rescuing Peach... There's like... Baby eggs. Well, eggs that Bowser has stolen and you have to save the baby Yoshi. That's how I remember it as. But... 
what actually happens is that Bowser has trapped Yoshi in the egg. So Bowser has this device that can trap things in eggs. <laughs> it doesn't say that, but when you read between the lines, it's like, okay, so... Bowser trapped Yoshi inside the eggs. So when Yoshi hatches out of the egg, you're freeing him from his egg prison. Which I do not remember in the slightest. Like, my mind... That's not what happened in that game. Oh, good. It's like one of those things... Like a Mandela effect. In some other universe, <laughs> what I'm describing was the plot of Super Mario World. haven't I done yet? Peace. Come here. Oh man, the memories. This music. And this. like a required boss in Mario games, or 3D Mario games at least. Ah! This is a harder version of the fight, isn't it? Okay, I need health or I'm going to die! Or that's going to happen. <laughs> I reacted too late. He didn't say Mamma Mia. Come on. Where's the attention to detail? Lateral damage. It's fine. Why did I do that? Oh. <laughs> this is not going to plan. I heard if you backflip into the painting, it, it's better.
So, you know, when you want to beat a stage that has a painting, you just backflip into it. Like I said. It works. Ah, oh, I didn't do the the fanfare. <laughs> we'll go in here finally. Does this work? No. Oh yeah, Toadette's here. Hey Amari, looks like you're on another big adventure, that's great. I hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world keeping track of your achievements. I've also got power moons to give you as rewards. Hey, you've already completed. Oh right, yeah, this takes a while, so we might be here for like a couple of minutes. You can also see the names of the power moons you'll get for all your achievements. I'll add some hits to the power moon list, which you can see by opening the map. Achieve world peace. Oh, there's a lot. Throw a cappy 5,000. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of them. Achieve world peace. <laughs> What is it with Nintendo and forcing you to talk to NPCs <laughs> like over and over again instead of doing things all at once? Like, hey, you've earned 30 moons. Congratulations. If you want to check what achievements you've earned, just check the list. Here's 30 moons. Oh no, I have to talk to her 30 times. It's not just Animal Crossing, it's, it's other games as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's best that I split this up and not do this all at once, so... I'll probably have to come back to it later. Yeah, good. <laughs> Talk to Toad at 30 times. Make the player feel like they've accomplished something. At this rate, it's going to become the 20th of January. <laughs> By the time I'm done with her. I can't even spam the button because that makes me jump as well. <laughs> ah, dear. I appreciate that they tried to do achievements, though. It's one step in the right direction, just... As always, the implementation is... questionable at best. Oh, 
I think that would be a, a cute way for them to do achievements if they like ever implemented achievements across games. Just call them power stars. You're collecting power stars instead of achieves, achievements, and you get power stars based on things you do in Nintendo games. God, how many? It's been, what, like at least 20? Oh, man. Is there going to be an achievement for, like, diving off a cliff a certain amount of times? Because I've done that a lot. What about one for screaming internally? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. All right. All right, she has no more to give. Good. Well, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, so let me see what else I can quickly do. Because I do want to get or get to the uh, the AI game that I was going to play. Hey, Optic, how's it going? What have you got to say, Toad? I've been in here. Yeah, she's gone missing again. Alright, well. There's like a Yoshi thing that I still want to do, so. I want to get the Yoshi stuff out of the way. Because that involves the fruit. Uh, where is... Huh. How did I get up on the roof? <laughs> Just thinking. I'm... Oh, maybe... Hang on. Maybe it was just this. No? Oh no, I think I know what it is. It's this thing. Aha! Got it. Yeah, midnight brain. It's approaching. Also had a very long week. <laughs> Was close. Hey, where's the egg? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I just got a couple more fruits to go. There's one down here. I just want to resolve that, at the very least. Yeah. 
how many Yoshi moons do I have? I have not been keeping count, to be honest. I've just been playing. That's fine, I'll, I'll get him. I've eaten the majority of the fruit, so... Like, I would have come across it myself anyway, eventually. Play with fire. There we go. Let's grab too late. Probably missed one here. Not in the tower, because Yoshi can't get up there. be like, oh. Yeah, I bet it's like in an underpass or something. Something that's not visible unless you go under. How's it going? I'm gonna check the underpasses. <laughs> well, maybe there's one still near the castle. I ate the one that was blocking the pipe. somewhere on the edge or something. I got the two that were facing the cliff over there. Maybe I'll use the scoping thing. Get a vantage point. Oh, there it is. It's actually on top of the building where we get Yoshi originally. Which, can I even get back up now as Yoshi? Okay, there we go. I might have to ditch Yoshi. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Story of Yoshi's life just being thrown into a pit.
and punch. He doesn't get punched. Mario points. In one of the manuals, it shows that he points. It's funnier to think that he punches, though. He does. The animation looks like he's punching, but in the manual, the artwork is he's pointing. After all, he did it for me as a baby. Yeah, there was that whole saga as well. But in Mario's defense, you wouldn't remember that anyway. Wait a minute. Am I miss? Hold on. They're up there. I guess I have to take a dive. Doing anything fun? Uh, not really. I gotta do a bunch of cleaning up. No fun. Allowed. Yeah, adult stuff. Unfortunately. Alright, there we go. We're done. I just wanted to wrap that up. Alright, sorry Yoshi. I guess I can leave you be. Does he say anything when I talk to him? No. Okay. I'm going to leave it here for Odyssey for now. It's been a couple of hours, so I want to get around to playing this AI game. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching this later on as a replay on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of Odyssey. If you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button, or you can also watch me do other things by clicking one of the videos. Either way, it does help out quite a bit, so appreciate those that do it. Alright, but we'll see you next time, YouTube. Bye.